Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Blurry Dave, back with another MCU Blu-ray unboxing. I finally have this after so long since this was announced, and I'm, I'm also happy that I binge-watched this series recently. Like, I remember how so good it was, but unfortunately, um, I believe it was, I guess it was Disney that canceled this. I don't know why it was such a good show. Um, really wish they could have kept it up for so long, like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, I'm also happy that this is still canon to the MCU. Here we have Marvel's Agent Carter, the complete first season on Blu-ray. This is actually an Amazon exclusive. Now, back in the day when they announced it like this, I don't, like, I remember, like, don't even knowing why they did that, but... Years later, I found out the hard truth. <laughs> Sometimes studios like to get away with this stunt. If something doesn't do well, or let's just say quote-unquote doesn't do well, then they have it as an exclusive. Then they can still release a product on their platform or release on something else. Like Another perfect example, guys, just a little side rant. Uh, Pac-Man the Ghostly Adventures. Love that show, by the way. The first season aired on Disney XD, right? But guess where the second season went when they announced it? On Netflix. <sighs> this is very rare for me to find out about stuff like this. Like, If you guys know of any other scenarios that happen like this, let me know in the comments below and uh, hopefully we could talk, talk about it in some videos. So yeah, look at this, guys. I knew I needed to get this for the MCU for sure. And... I, I am aware of Season 2. It's in a UK version, just like with Iron Fist scenario. Like, I'll make sure to get that. Um, yeah, like, Marvel, you really should have released the second season here in the US, at least. So, until we find out what Bob Iker wants to do, besides releasing all the Disney Plus stuff that they have, like, just... <clears throat> come on. I got this used, but look at the slipcover, though. It looks... Looks very clean. I love it. And honestly, I love this show more than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And you know what? It's probably for the best that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is no longer canon to the MCU. Because, I mean, once Kevin Feige releases that Marvel Studios book, um, I'm sure he'll give us definitive answers. This. It's an eight episode run on the first season. I mean, why do I keep thinking this show came out fall of 2014? Well, it's probably because maybe there was a maybe there was like a like a clip a sneak peek for it if I remember correctly, and then this aired early 2015. Man, I was there for every episode for the first season. Oh, man. Speaking of like. Iron Fist and the other shows. If you haven't checked out like like the previous reviews that I've done the Netflix shows, go ahead and check them out. I don't know what my cat right now, guys. You can't see it, but like he's like he's standing up like this. He's like hearing something like. Oh, you don't funny. It's okay, bud. It's okay. <laughs> so there are bloopers of Agent Carter. Oh man, everybody in here was great. The human Jarvis, of course. <laughs> okay. And uh, it's nice to see Dominic Cooper come back as uh, Howard Stark, of course. And um, I keep forgetting that uh, Anton Vanko was actually in the first season. I thought he appeared in the second season. At least, that, that kind of gives us a closure for Iron Man 2. All right. So here's the case itself. Spine. I felt like, this might just be me, but I've searched up other reviews, but I feel like people in general love this show more than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I wouldn't blame them. Alright, so, got something very cool to show you here, besides the cool discs. So here's disc one. Episodes one through five. What? Just noticing this now. It's eight episodes, so... so you think they could have at least put four on one disc and four on the other disc, right? Then again, sometimes these things usually involve arcs that they want people to complete. Disc two, episodes six through eight. 
And just like with um, Daredevil and Iron Fist, you get some really cool art in the back. I feel like my grandpa would like this show too because it's st it still takes place in the 40s. Like, um, I thought this took place in the 50s. Well, probably the Agent Carter one shot took place in the 50s. But can we all agree? When uh, Peggy went in disguise, I believe in the first episode. Whew, yes, that's my girl. <laughs> I mean, out of all of the MCU women, guys, like, sure, I, I did post on my community post that my favorite Marvel Netflix women are, but out of all the MCU ones, Peggy Carter is definitely number one for me. Just something about her, you know? You guys are probably expecting me to say uh, Black Widow, like, ah, eh, she's all right, but something about Peggy, you know? And um, Haley Atwell knows how to make um, those looks back in the day work. Oh, shoot. Okay. And cool thing about this slipcover is that, like, unlike the Netflix shows, like, um, it doesn't let the case slip out easily because, I mean, thank God I switched the cases f for my other shows, but, like, when you get the double stack discs, like, um, they would just fall out of the slipcover, like, <clears throat> but anyways, this is my unboxing of Marvel's Agent Carter, the complete first season on Blu-ray, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, please send the post notification bell, share my content if you haven't already, and, uh, yes, stay tuned for a future review of, um, season two, and I just noticed this now, it's one of the, the stills from the show, I don't know if you guys can see. The great, late Stan Lee. Oh, man, it was so nice to see him in that. All right. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and may the Lord be with you guys. Always love, guys. Peace out, guys. Remember, Avengers Assemble. All right, bye, guys.